What's up guys, I'm Paul, and today we are talking about tuning your audio in Final Cut Pro 10. What's up guys, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. My name is Paul, I'm a cinematographer from Toronto, Canada, and I talk about filmmaking gear, tutorials, tips. So if that's what you'd like to watch, then subscribe, because I've got lots more stuff coming up. I wanted to make this video to help you get to know some of the tools and some of the techniques you can use to help get better audio in your video in Final Cut Pro 10. Awesome, so let's jump into Final Cut Pro and take a look at the tools we're gonna to be working with today. So to access the audio panel with your clip selected in the timeline, head over to the right side of the viewer. You're gonna see a little speaker icon. Click that once, it'll open the audio pane. If it's not full screen, just double click that space next to it and it should open full screen. You can have can have the whole right side of the uh, screen to work on the audio. So starting at the top, equalization. What equalization does is it gives you con full control over either presets that you might need uh, to tune your audio or it gives you full control over the actual frequencies in your audio. So for example, let me go through some of the presets and why you might want to use them. So I mean, voice enhance is pretty obvious. What it's going to do is it's going to increase the ranges of frequencies that your voice typically resides at or voices typically um, are part of. Music enhance, um, loudness. Loudness just sort of brings up everything. It brings up the, the highs and the lows. It kind of dips the middle a bit. Hum reduction, that's based on a, a hum being at a certain frequency and it just tries to cut out that frequency. Bass boost, that lifts up the bass. Bass reduce, that reduces the bass. Treble boost, same thing, and treble reduce, same thing. Those are good for like a quick tune, but you can always try it out and see if it does the job that you're looking for. You can always just put it back to flat if it doesn't work. Sometimes these presets are good as a starting point, uh, then you can go ahead and tweak it from there. Now audio analysis is a built-in tool that will automatically adjust the audio using these tools. And I don't always find it works the best because sometimes it, it just puts them on too heavy and it can um, really change the sound that you'd be going for. So I don't recommend it, but um, that's what it does. Okay, so going down the line, loudness. Loudness is sort of like compressor. What it does is it brings down the high highs and it brings up the lows. So it brings down the highest levels and it brings up the lowest levels. So then you can, there's less difference between those values. So instead of having a wide, a wide range of values, it compresses them to keep all the values within a certain amount. Hey, don't look at me, look at the screen. That's what we're working with here. The way you use this is you dial in the amount which is how much it's gonna actually affect the clip. And then the uniformity is how much it's actually crushing the highs and bringing up the lows. So if, you, if uniformity is way up there, it's, it's gonna sound weird because it's really, really, really compressing the audio. So I wouldn't go too hard on this. Just a little bit does the job. And there is some tweaking that's required to get the sound you want. For me to listen to it and play it back and figure out, okay, I gotta go a little bit less or a little bit more and figure out what sounds the best. Noise removal is great if you have like a little constant sound. It's great for when you want to really remove or reduce constant background noise. It's not a miracle worker. If you have loud spaces and the sounds are varying with levels and intensities and different frequencies, it has a hard time deciding which ones to get rid of. So it, it can sound a little weird. In my personal experience, I found that keeping noise removal, just adding it to about, you know, from 35 to 45%, it can do it can do a pretty good job most time. If you also have a, a poor microphone and there's a little hiss going on on the microphone, this is perfect for that. It usually gets rid of that without affecting the vocals too much. Once you start going more than about 50%, you're gonna sound like it's underwater. And really nobody wants to sound like they're speaking underwater, so just keep it down, all right? Trust me, keep it down. The last one would be hum removal. And to be honest with you, I've tried this a couple times when I did actually need a hum removed, but it didn't work the way I thought. It did make the sound worse than noise removal, so I found myself staying away from it. In my personal opinion, it sucks, don't use it. Let's move on from there. So that's it, just a really quick and easy way you can either get started with audio tools in Final Cut Pro, or if you really need to just tune something quick and get it out, then this is probably the best method to do that. I'm hoping to do a more in-depth video on some of the tools you can use in Final Cut or some plugins that would help you tune your audio a lot better. Or if there's something else you'd like to see about Final Cut, leave a comment and maybe I'll make a video about it. But that's it for today and I don't have a tagline so I guess I'll see you in the next one. 